Carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. Take a potted plant and place it in a completely dark place for about 48 hours to destarch its leaves. During photosynthesis, plants form starch in the leaves. Destarching a plant involves preventing photosynthesis, usually by keeping the plant in the dark for 24 to 48 hours until the starch is used by the plant for their food and energy. Take a conical flask having a wide mouth and put some potassium hydroxide solution into it. Insert one leaf into the conical flask through a split rubber cork and fit it tightly. The cork will prevent carbon dioxide from entering the flask. Potassium hydroxide in the flask absorbs the carbon dioxide gas present in the flask. The potted plant with its one leaf inside the flask containing potassium hydroxide is kept in sunlight for few hours. During this period, the other leaves of the plant get carbon dioxide from the air, but the leaf which is inside the flask does not get any carbon dioxide. This is because all the carbon dioxide of the air present in the flask has been absorbed by potassium hydroxide solution. Pluck the leaf from the plant and take it out from the flask. Pluck another leaf from the plant which was exposed to atmospheric air. Test both the leaves for presence of starch. Put the two leaves in boiling water for few minutes. Now boil the two leaves in alcohol over the water bath. In this way, we get a decolorized leaf. Wash the decolorized leaf with water to remove any alcohol present. Pour iodine solution over the two leaves and observe any change in color. We will observe that the leaf from conical flask does not turn blue-black, showing absence of starch, while the leaf exposed to atmospheric air turns blue-black on adding iodine solution, showing the presence of starch. From this observation, we conclude that in the absence of carbon dioxide, no photosynthesis takes place and hence no starch is formed. Hence, carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis.